Well, Apple is reportedly inching closer to releasing its long-awaited mixed reality headset. Yahoo Finance's Ali Garfinkel is here with the details on that. Ali, what are we learning about the timeline? Hi, Shauna. So the important thing to know here is this product has been in development for about seven years. And we are finally a few weeks away from WWDC, the June 5th event where Apple is expected to unveil it to the world. Now, to say this is much anticipated is probably an understatement. If I had a nickel for absolutely every time that someone had just told me a rumor about this headset, I would probably be a lot closer to retirement than I am right now. However, there's getting, we're getting some reports that the payoff isn't going to be quite what VR watchers, VR advocates had hoped for. Now, what do we mean by that? Let's think about what an Apple product usually is like. We usually imagine something that is streamlined with a beautiful UX and is plugged into this very sticky, very usable ecosystem. But the reports are saying that this Apple headset is going to be more experimental than anything we've seen from them before. Now, what does that look like? For instance, we know they're having some struggles integrating software. We know that the battery pack itself is going to be, for instance, bigger than expected, about the size of a hand, give or take. And we also know that there could be production issues down the line. Now, we've been talking for a while about this headset possibly creating an iPhone moment, a chat GPT moment. However, what I'm hearing from sources on the phone today is maybe as this report came out, we should start tempering our expectations just a little bit. Well, Ali, you know, with mixed reality, the question is always about whether the content will follow. Is there an actual demand out there with limited content right now? We've seen those challenges with Meta. Are we likely to see the same uphill battle with Apple? I certainly think so, because you're absolutely right, Akiko. There is not a hero VR app out there right now. And I think the other thing, too, is we have to remember why Meta has so struggled to keep consumers interested in its VR headset. And it comes down again to that ease of use. I know I'm hitting it home, but I cannot stress how important that really is. The other thing too is if Apple doesn't bring a killer app, that kind of streamlined quality that makes you just wanna pick something up and wear it and use it, it's going to be a lot harder for I think VR to be stick as sticky as I know company watchers, as I know VR advocates are hoping it will be. In the end, if VR is sort of left without this hockey stick moment, I think the industry at large, not only Apple, not only Meta, but everyone who's interested in VR is going to be sort of left to grapple with how far the technology really still has to come. I'm not sold on it yet. You know that, Ali. You know, I've got a lot of questions about the adoption of this going forward, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be proved wrong with this new headset. All right, Ali Garfinkel, thanks so much for joining. Have a good weekend.